duckies, Andy here, and this is the most useful OBS plugin, and I'm going to go all about it in this video. It is actually a plugin that I made, and I've been adding so many features into it. It is literally a plugin you do not want to miss. It is the Stream Up OBS plugin update checker plugin product installer. It does everything. It's got so many tools in it. Grab it straight from our Kofi page. Uh, you can get it for free by banging in a zero there, or you can just leave a cheeky tip, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, I, I've put my life and soul into this plugin. Uh, so please, if you want to support me and my content, then please leave a little donation in there. Press add to cart, get it downloaded and installed like you would any other plugin. If you need any help installing plugins, I've got plenty of tutorials on my YouTube. So, in OBS, it looks normal, but if we go up to tools, and then go across to stream up, we've got a ton of different options just here. And the most important one, this plugin checks for all your OBS plugins, whether or not they need an update. You just press check for update and then boom, you get this list that comes up. Now it tells you the plugin name with links to the OBS forum. So if I click on one of these, it will take me to the composite blur. Oh, look at this handsome chap just here. Finite, what a legend. If you've not tried this plugin, go check it out. So you can see all of the updates to the plugin, so you can see all the patch notes and everything like that. Download it from there, or you can click download via the direct download link and it'll open in your web browser and download it instantly for your platform. This works for Windows, Mac and Linux. Pretty nifty. Uh, and then you can press OK, that's all done. Uh, but that's not just it, I've added two new things. Don't you just hate it? when? Windows updates, right? Windows updated and you come into OBS and all of a sudden you can't hear anything that you could previously. Like, it's so frustrating. It makes no sense. Don't know why it happens, but I added a tool that will fix it. So going down to tools, we can press refresh audio monitoring. So as soon as you press this, it'll open up a new window in the middle just to explain exactly what this tool does. This tool re will refresh the monitoring settings of all audio sources in OBS. Use this tool if you can't hear the sources you normally monitor in OBS. This usually happens when Windows updates or your audio settings have adjusted on your PC. And how to use it, there are three different ways of using it. So you can press this refresh audio monitoring just below. You can set a hotkey, or if you're a bit techy, you can copy the WebSocket JSON just like so. And when you type it into say Notepad or something like that, paste it in here. It's got all the info just there. So you can trigger it via WebSocket. It's completely up to you what you do. So all you do is press refresh audio monitoring and boom, it's done it. You don't even know it's done anything, it's done it. Maybe I should add an output message. If you want me to add an output message to say that it's done it, let me know in the comments below. So setting a hotkey for that is so easy. You just go to your set it. Not that settings, this settings, not the virtual camera settings. So we jump into settings, go to hotkeys just here and it'll load all the different hotkeys you got available and you should see the refresh audio monitoring and also refresh browser sources, which is a great segue to the next thing that I added. We go up to tools again, go down to stream up and go to tools, refresh browser sources. This does what it says on the tin. All your browser sources, say if you have your alerts working through browser sources and they crash for some reason, well now this will refresh them all. So hopefully it fixes any issues that you have with that. So this works exactly the same way. You can press the refresh browser sources button, set hotkey or use the WebSocket as well. So you just press refresh browser sources and boom, done. Every single browser source in your OBS will refresh. So it's so handy. Being able to put that into something like a hotkey is just incredible. It really is. I've also added a few more things of quality life. Like you can check out all the products that I've made by going to download products. Just want to fire that out there, you know, a bit of self promo, some great widgets and things, which I'm building so many more like some Metal Gear Solid effect that I've just done. Well, this is a test user input. Anything can happen here. You can add TTS, pretty much anything you want. The, the stream up game lad, which is pretty cool. It's like a Game Boy-esque thing that changes your entire scene into a Game Boy. The stream up game lad appears and it's got the scene, looks pretty cool and it goes full screen, blurs your background out so everything's still active and now I'm in this Game Boy world, man. Like, what are we doing in this Game Boy world? Who knows? It's pretty cool. Come and visit me on twitch.tv forward slash Andy if you want to see me make this stuff live. And if you want to download all the products for free, join my Patreon or Kofi. 
So we go up to tools, stream up, I've added a settings page. So we can check your plugins on startup just here by checking this box. I recommend leaving it on. It doesn't tell you that they're all up to date. It just doesn't bring up a message if you're all good. It only brings up a message if you need to up to date. Uh, and we got view installed plugins. This will show you every single plugin that you've got installed in OBS and whether or not they are compatible with the plugin update checker. So depending on how the dev has made the plugins, um, this currently, it actually says just at the top here, I'll read this. Uh, these are all the plugins that you have currently loaded in OBS and whether or not they are compatible with the update checker. What makes a compatible plugin? These are plugins that have a version number associated with them and the version number is written to the OBS log file when OBS is launched. This is kind of like a basic practice for making plugins. Uh, incompatible plugins, these are the plugins that are currently loaded in OBS but have no version number present in the OBS log files. So if you are a OBS plugin developer and you want me to add your plugin to this, just start adding version numbers and I'll do it. I've got a whole database that I keep up to date manually. Again, another reason for you guys to support me, if you would, would be super cool. All my links are in the description. And what's nice as well is we can actually click on any of these links to go to that page as well. Here's a nice one that Finite Singularity is working on. Woo 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 woo. Get subscribed for more or go check out his Twitch channel. He builds it live. I'll leave his link below as well. So we can click on any of these and it'll go to the OBS front page. Really nice plugin. It does so much more than people give it credit. So please share it with a streamer friend. I'm going to keep adding features. If you want to see some more things added, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I'm, I'm a new dev. I've only just started learning how to code. I've probably been doing it about a year now. Really enjoying it. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. Any further questions, come and visit me live. I stream here and on Twitch now because, you know, restreaming is the thing. And if you want to find out more about restreaming, then click this video here. I tell you everything you need to know, all right? So put your rock on the stone, get subscribed, like the video. Goodbye.